so now we're going to take a look at the root resort 71 functions turn the machine on push program get the startup screen and then it'll ask you to do the ground balance procedure just pull the trigger for now because you only want a ground balance after you've finished doing all your settings and you've checked that there's no other signals in the ground because you don't want a ground balance over a target because you could discriminate in out good targets so you always make sure you ground balance on a clean piece of land so you just pull the trigger pull it again and that's factory preset okay then so the first settings are in the enter so you push enter and you get three different settings sensitivity use the left and right arrows to go up and down change sensitivity push enter again touch your discrimination set your discrimination with the arrows again and then the discriminated area will sink so you want that to be about 28 and that just gets rid of the small nails and then you've got the notch if you wanted to notch an area say if he's on a park and he's getting lots of foil or something like that use the page right page button to go across and then where it says accept underneath you push the right button and then it brings it out so that means you've rejected that target and then to bring it back in you push the left button and that's your notch push the enter button again to go back to the start screen okay let's have a look at the programs so you've got eight different programs on the right hand side all the way across you've got ultra fast and that's exactly that you've got um, the highest frequency which will be 18.4 kilohertz so it's brilliant on the small stuff and you've also got the highest reaction so you'll be um, faster in between the targets so that's brilliant on a ancient site trying to get between the nails for the little tiny coins etc and on the other end of the scale you've got all them different modes but then you've got the ultra deep and that's that what it would be it'd be the lowest frequency to be on 4.4 uh, kilohertz and it'll be on the lowest reaction so everything slowed down then ready to try and get the deeper targets but the preset programs are really good but you can adjust them in the expert mode after if you go into the, one of the user settings okay so let's go out of the programs push the trigger you'll actually do the GB setup again just ignore that pull the trigger once wait for it pull the trigger again to go to factory preset okay then so my menu page now my menu is broken up into three different segments you've got the engine audio and screen to start with we're in frequency so you can adjust the frequency all the way up to 18.4 and you can go all the way down to 4.4 so that's it drops in segments of two and that's 71 different frequencies hence ultra 71 so it's a very versatile machine now you've got the hot rocks go to hot rock mode neutral is that's probably the best place to start and then you adjust that to suit the grain that you're on if you're getting lots of uh, hot rocks you can lower the hot rock or go up it depends what fields conditions you're in by adjusting that you also can eliminate the wraparound effect so say if you're getting large uh, cans coke cans and stuff all the time you can bring that in and it, it, gives, it will eliminate the top right hand of the discrimination as well and that's the wraparound for the big big iron and big aluminium cans but we'll leave that in neutral to search to start with uh, reaction is your reactivity speed um, one is the slowest, eight is the fastest, and you adjust that to suit the grain you're on. And now you've got masking. Uh, masking is a built in discrimination within the discrimination. So if you're going across a field and you've got lots of nails, uh, especially an ancient site, and you've got uh, quite a lot of nails in the area, but you know there's good targets that could be with them nails. And then you have to adjust that masking then because if you've got your masking too high your machine will run really stable but you've got less chance of getting the small good targets next to iron okay then let's go to audio threshold level uh, if you want to use your machine in dynamic search mode you'd leave the threshold at zero but if you want to you can get into dual mode 
as soon as you bring the threshold level up you get the background hum and that just gives you more information in your ears in dual mode because you'll have the normal dynamic search where you get the beeps beeps when you get a signal but you'll also get a change in the hum the background threshold which gives you more information for your ears so you can tell what target size is and depth and stuff like that um, if you're going to use that you need to have VCO on and that makes it more of a smoother changeover from targets and stuff uh, threshold tone that just changes the tone of the threshold um, threshold sense obviously that's to do with the dual mode again you can change the sensitivity on that and that's the VCO so if you was going to use it in dual mode VCO one for a smoother operation uh, and then you've got the threshold sat which that's another function within the dual mode and with all metal mode and non-motion mode etc and then you've got the audio gain audio gain is like an amplifier if you've got your audio on audio gain all the way up on 60 then everything sounds the same if you've got a target at one inch and a target at 12 inch it will give you the same signal so you've got no idea of depth also it will amplify any EMI so ideally you want to bring that down a tad because your machine will be quite erratic if you have it all the way down to zero you're going to lose some of the deeper targets so you need to again set that to suit the ground that you're on and the, what targets you're after with the volume if you've got the back speaker on the routers but also if you plug your headphones in you want to leave your volume on 30 and then adjust the volume through your headphones that way you'll get more out of the machine uh, tones you've got all different types of tones uh, relic freeze what I'm using at the minute it's getting used to it what you'll get is a 0 to 28 will be a low tone and then it, it steps up there in segments which gives you a higher tone every time and then push the trigger to come back out uh, let me just show you what the coin mode pattern is this is very there's only a very little difference but everyone's different everyone wants different tones but I'm going to try the relic free so there we go but you've also got um, user one and user two and user three and you can absolutely change all the settings in that to suit what however you want the sounds to be and you can save them which is very handy uh, wireless um, I haven't got the wireless module but you can get a wireless module I think that's about 35 pounds something like that um, and then you've got the wireless module you can plug any headphones into that which will be your wires free then virtually so it's brilliant and then we've got to take you over again to the screen mode backlight left and right buttons just to change the brightness ID type this is quite important I use 12 kilohertz but if you was in real say if you was at 4 kilohertz searching and you went over a pound coin and it gives you a target of say 60 if throughout the day you upped your kilohertz and you were still looking for that 60 for a pound coin it wouldn't be because as you up the kilohertz the target ID changes so real would be quite difficult you'd have to really get used to that so I would suggest for the most variation and for the same target ID every time would be the 12 kilohertz easier searching and then you've got whole time whole time is when you go over a target you get a target ID pop up on the screen that will stay there for five seconds you can adjust that with the up and down arrow to suit what you want it to do and then you've got the language English and Polish I'll leave it in English and that's all of the settings on the Routers Auto 71 right then. so you've set all your settings up you're happy you're ready to go and you want to start detecting now you're in this mode obviously make sure your sensitivity is up and then you'll check the area make sure there's no other targets in the ground when you when you're happy that there's no targets in the ground push the ground balance button and follow the on-screen instructions put search coil up and then pull trigger when it says put search coil up it means about a foot and a half off the ground and then pull the trigger Want, now you're a foot and a half off the ground then you can pump the coil down you want to be off the ground about an, about an inch so pump the coil without touching the ground detector ready pull trigger so pull the trigger and then it gives you the soil conditions readout normally it's around 80 88 something like that 